In this video, let me consider one numerical on Laplace transform. The network shown below was in steady state before t equal to 0. The switch is opened at t equal to 0, find i of t for t greater than 0 using Laplace transform. This is the given network. Here it is shown, it indicates that the switch will open at t equal to 0. It means that before t equal to 0, switch was in closed state and in closed state the circuit has reached steady state that is what mentioned here. We know that at steady state inductor acts like short circuit and capacitor acts like open circuit. So this is the same circuit. Now let me consider at steady state that is before switching operation is known as steady state at steady state inductor acts like short circuit and capacitor acts like open circuit. So therefore now let me remove this inductor I will short it and I made it short circuit and here there was a capacitor as I said capacitor acts like open circuit. So this is open and let me assume when this is open the current will flow only in register 1 ohm that this is the closer path the current in the circuit is I can call it as I of 0 minus that is before switching operation current is I of 0 minus. So here from this circuit we can see that I of 0 minus is equal to 1 by 1 ohm that is voltage by register 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 amp that is nothing but current through inductor before switching operation is I of 0 minus which is nothing but uh, 1 amp. That is nothing but I can also call it as I L of 0 minus that is current through inductor at steady state. Similarly, when as I said here when switch was closed it has reached a steady state it means that capacitor is charged to 1 volt that is also we can obtain here as I said here there was a capacitor at steady state capacitor acts like open circuit now here we can see that voltage between these two points that is nothing but VC of 0 minus VC of 0 minus is equal to 1 ohm that is voltage across these two point is nothing but 1 volt which is nothing but voltage across capacitor that is VC of 0 minus is equal to 1 volt. Now it is said that at t equal to 0 the switch will switching switch is opened at t equal to 0. Now let me draw the circuit at t equal to 0. When switch was open so this 1 volt will become open circuit so this will not be considered. Now let me draw the circuit at t equal to 0 t equal to 0 that is the circuit at t equal to 0. Now I can say the switch is opened at t equal to 0. Therefore, the network for t greater than 0 is shown below. So here from this circuit at t equal to 0 the switch will open then 1 volt will become open so will not be considered in that case only capacitor inductor and register will come into the picture. Let me draw only this part that is only this part. So here we have So here there is inductor, here we have register and here we have capacitor. So current in the circuit is I of T. Let me, this is L equal to 1 Henry. R value is 1 ohm and capacitor value is 1 farad. So now for this circuit we have to apply KVL. That is apply KVL to the circuit. So there is no any voltage, there is no voltage source here, 0 is equal to 
we have voltage across inductor is L d i of t by dt voltage across resistor will be r i of t and voltage across capacitor is 1 over c integration of i of t into dt here limit we supposed to consider is minus infinity to t let me simplify this <coughs> 0 is equal to we have l di of t by dt plus r i of t plus here this one i will break the limit as 1 over c minus infinity to 0 minus i of t dt plus so here, so here we can observe that this is nothing but initial voltage across the capacitor which is nothing but vc of 0 minus as here we can see that this is VC of 0 minus, this terminal will be plus, this terminal will be minus. So here according to current flow, this end will be positive, this end will be negative. But voltage across capacitor will be, this end is positive, this end is negative. That is nothing but VC of 0 minus. So while moving current in direction, it will become minus VC of 0 minus. So here VC of 0 minus already we have found, which is nothing but 1 volt. So its value is minus 1. So value of this is minus 1. I will take that minus 1 on left hand side. It will become 1 is equal to L di of t by dt plus we have r i of t plus here we have 1 over c integration of 0 to t i of t into dt. So now we have to take the Laplace transform of this expression apply Laplace transform so that I can write here on LHS we have 1 the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s is equal to L di of t by dt Laplace transform of differentiation is L s i of s minus L i of 0 minus here i of 0 minus indicates initial current of the capacitor or initial current through the capacitor plus we have r i of t Laplace transform of this is r i of s then we have Laplace transform of 1 over c i of t dt that is Laplace transform of integration is plus 1 over c i of s by s this is 1 over s so here l value is 1 so it will be s yes, i of s yes, minus it is l l value is 1 i of 0 minus so already we have found i of 0 minus the value of i of 0 minus is 1 ampere so it's supposed to be this end value is 1 plus r value is 1 it will be i of s plus c value is also 1 it will be i of s yes by s yes. now let me simplify this further 1 over s is equal to so let me take i of s common i of s here it will be s yes, plus this is 1 plus it is 1 by s yes, and it will be minus 1 or i can write it as 1 plus 1 by s yes is equal to i of s yes, yes plus 1 plus 1 by s yes. or i can write it as s yes plus 1 by s yes is equal to here we have i of s yes. so let me take s yes as lcm it will be s yes square plus s yes plus 1 divided by s yes. or this can be written as here we have s yes and this s yes will get cancelled it will be s yes plus 1 is equal to i of s in bracket s square plus s plus 1 or we can write i of s is equal to s plus 1 divided by s square plus s plus 1 or i can write it as s plus 1 so in the denominator it is not a perfect square so we'll try to make it perfect square as I can write it as a square plus instead of yes I will write it as 1 over 2 
into 2s plus I can make it as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and I'll keep this 1 as it is plus 1. So this can be simplified as i of x is equal to numerator is 1 by 2 into 2s plus 1 by 4 can be written as s plus 1 by 2 whole square. So this is nothing but a square plus 1 by 2 square. 1 by 2 square is nothing but 1 by 4 into 2 into s into 1 by 2. That is nothing but the same term. Now the remaining term is plus 1 minus 1 by 4. This can be represented as 3 by 4. On the numerator, I will try to bring 1 by 2 in numerator. So, I can represent it as s plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and in the denominator, we have s plus half square plus 3 by 4 or I can write it as i of s is equal to this will be s plus 1 by 2 and denominator we have s plus 1 by 2 whole square plus this also I will try to represent 3 by 4 as root 3 by 2 whole square because it is nothing but 3 by 4 plus we have 1 by 2 denominator will be same that is s plus 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square. So now to find i of t we have to take inverse Laplace transform of this equation that is taking inverse Laplace transform. So we know that the Laplace transform of e power minus a t sin omega t is given by omega divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square and also we know that Laplace transform of e power minus a t cos omega t is given by s plus a divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square. So now comparing with this first term we have s plus a that a is equal to 1 by 2 and here we have s plus a whole square root 3 by 2. So here it is resembled to this expression. So in this case a is equal to 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2 is nothing but omega. So therefore the inverse Laplace transform of this term is nothing but e power minus is a t cos omega t. Therefore now I can write. So here Laplace inverse Laplace transform of i of s is we have i of t is equal to so this term here this term is nothing but omega this term is nothing but a and this term is nothing but omega. So I can write e power minus a t that is e power minus we have 1 by 2 t cos so omega is nothing but root 3 by 2 we have root 3 by 2 t. Similarly now let me compare this expression with this we can see that so on numerator we have omega and here we have omega square so comparing here the numerator 1 by 2 it is a constant I will take it out so here we need root 3 by 2 as this this is omega here this root 3 by 2 should come on numerator so I will divide and multiply this term with root 3 by 2 so I can represent this term as 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 on numerator I will write this root 3 by 2 because this root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 will get cancelled and in denominator we have s plus 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square. 
So now here we can see that 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is nothing but 2 by is nothing but 1 by root 3. So here we have 1 by root 3 and it is of it is of same form omega divided by s plus a whole square omega square is nothing but e power minus a t that is e power minus 1 by 2 t sine here omega value is root 3 by 2 that is root 3 by 2. So this is the complete solution and this is the current i of t which flows in the given circuit. Thank you for watching.